Hey YouTube, love and light. The Empress is in the building and welcome to the Empire. I want to thank you for stopping by and supporting my channel. I'm going to be doing an energy check-in for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. This is a collective read, so it may not resonate for everyone. So please just take what resonates and leave the rest for whoever needs it. If this does resonate for you, go ahead and hit like, share, and subscribe to join our spiritual tribe and to help the channel grow. If you are not a Cancer and you're watching this video, um, there is a message here for you. Everyone is welcome here. I'm going to go ahead and clear the energy off the space and we're going to go ahead and get started. I just want to give a shout out to the Cancers. Thank you so much for all your love and support. You were the second highest viewers um, the last time I read. So thank you so much. Love y'all, love y'all, love y'all. Thank y'all so much. I appreciate it so much. So happy new year, Cancers. Happy new year. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and get the energy cleared first though. <sighs> Hope y'all week is starting off well. This is my first day back since the first of the year. So Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, and gods, I ask that you protect me as I go into the white light of the tarot. Give me clear and honest messages from my cancers today. Anything that is of you, light and love. Anything that is not of you, I ask that you return to sender tenfold. I ask that you protect my cancers as they receive these messages. Thank you, Spirit. Amen, amen, amen. Okay, let's go ahead and get it popping, y'all. I went long. <laughs> on my Capricorns, but I hope I'm not going to go that long with y'all today. <laughs> Let's see what's going on. <laughs> oh, you are very unique. Hmm. Oh, I feel like you are going through a, a, a spiritual awakening. You're blossoming into something very beautiful. Um, you're standing in your divine feminine and masculine energy here. Um, you are working on yourself. Blowing up, um, protecting your energy, cutting out things that's no longer serving you. Good way to start the year out. You're being very courageous, uh, freeing yourself, um, tapping into that inner child energy, you know, loving yourself, going out, spending time with friends and family, um, leaving the past behind. That's some good energy. I like it. Mm. Mm. Um, focus on your hopes, dreams, and desires. Standing in your power, being your true, authentic self. Let's see what's going on, Cancer. What y'all got going on? I like this energy. What's going on? What's going on with my Cancer spirit? Give me some energy for my Cancers. What's going on with my Cancers today, spirit? What's going on with my Cancers? What's in, what do my Cancers need to know? Oh, okay. Let's see. It says, leave your usual social circle behind seek out true companions okay so y'all got some um fake ass haters in y'all energy mm -mm -mm. i feel like y'all didn't come to the conclusion that people around y'all is not genuine mm -hmm. y'all got some sneaky ass foxes <laughs> it's some foxes on. it's some foxes on here that's why i said that yeah y'all got some damn snakes in your energy Y'all know the people around y'all don't have your best interests at heart. So y'all need to leave that circle behind and find some new genuine people that's um, going to help you elevate to a higher version of yourself that um, is going to love on you um, the way you deserve. Yes, a difficult path is being revealed. So um, ask for help and learn and learn that we all are connected. So um, spirit is trying to guide you down a different path. And um is urging you to remove people that's no longer serving you, uh, embracing change, helping you go through an awakening, helping you go through a transformation. 14 is the number on the card, um, reduces to five. So major changes, transformation, awakening for 41 could be also significant to you as well. So, um, something's being revealed to you that's yet to be unseen. Yet to be seen, rather. Something unseen is about to be revealed to you. And this is a new strategy is required. Find a path to love and happiness. 12 is on the card. Reduces to 3. That could be significant. 21 could be significant as well. Hmm. Yeah, so you need to strategize. Uh, put a plan together and implement that plan. So definitely some, some, some change is going to be required here. But um, I feel like you need to to um, assess the situation, use your intuition, pay attention to your surroundings. But 
Um, I feel like, you know, it's a lot of, uh, you got a lot of haters in your energy here. And it says the time of guilt and shame ends now. Forgive yourself and begin to love yourself just as you are. So I feel like some people around you have these expectations of you that may be unrealistic. And um, I feel like you might have went down a path that wasn't the most ideal or the most favorable or maybe people look down on you for some reason, or maybe you wasn't the most prosperous or most successful, or just wasn't in alignment with what the the crowd was doing or what have you. Um, you know, maybe you, you know, went through some struggles and could possibly be embarrassed about those struggles. Just, you know, uh, maybe made some bad choices in the past, but, you know, forgive yourself for your past mistakes love on yourself focus on self-care self-love stand in your power be your true authentic self because i feel like you're not being your true authentic self around these people and like i said i feel like some of the people around you just got some unrealistic expectations i feel like maybe people are taking advantage of you possibly um not treating you well or um having you you know maybe you're around some low vibrational people these people are not elevating or um, helping you elevate. Maybe these people are stuck and stagnant. So I feel like you need to move to a different circle, um, you know, a friends group, you know, get yourself around some higher vibrational energies, higher frequency people that could help you ascend to a higher version of yourself. 39 could be significant to you. 93, 12. But, um, yeah, definitely threes here are significant and as, as well as nines. Let's see here. I feel like you need to get more aligned with the universe, focus on your spiritual growth, discover new things about yourself, forge forward, um, focus on success and happiness, um, be more self-assured in yourself, be more self-assured about your talents, focus on your um, tapping into your creativity, focus on finding your divine purpose also um you know go through a transition focus on new beginnings you know uh ending old cycles the the universe has something else planned for you so you know this path may be difficult a lot of times change is difficult for every uh, a lot of people most everybody, you know, we don't all like, we, we like to stay in our comfort zone, but the universe is urging you to get out of your comfort zone, step into your North node. Um, you know, it may, like I said, be a difficult path, but, um, you are connected to the divine. Your angels have your back and something good is going to come out of this. This is going to be for, um, your highest, uh, this is going to be for your highest good. Okay. So let's see what's going on here. Let it's up. Uh, look. The hermit, you are being divinely guided. Use your inner wisdom. It's time for you to do some soul searching, some introspection, maybe go into isolation and time to be some alone, alone. you know, uh, focus on being independent, do some meditation, meditation, tap into your, um, inner, uh, consciousness, your subconscious mind. Yeah. I feel like you need to do some soul searching. So let's see. Oh, let me shuffle these cards a little bit. Oh, look. We also got the um, Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck now. So I feel like you might be um, a little emotional. I feel like you're a very loving and compassionate person too. But I feel like you're headed towards new love, new romance, joy, happiness. Um, I feel like you're being called to use your intuition. Some of you could be getting marriage proposals. Some of you could be having new babies, you know, be um, conceiving. Yeah, but I feel like your cup is about to overflow and who these people around you are um, not worthy of receiving your gifts. So whatever the divine is about to, uh, whatever doors the divine is about to open up to you, these people are not supposed to be a part of that plan. Okay, so I feel like it's time for you to get grounded and focus on your goals because you are about to head into a life of abundance, joy, and happiness. 
You know, I feel like you have overcome a lot of obstacles and challenges. I feel like it's a lot of conflict and chaos around you. And these people are, uh, like I said, you got some haters around you. So I feel like these people are not supposed to be a, a, a part of your future. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it's time for you to for, forge forward with determination and drive, being very ambitious, you know, um, I feel like it's time for you to stand up for yourself. I feel like you got people around you that's not supportive of you. And if they are, it's fake support. You know, it's only for them to get something from you. Let's see what's going on, Cancer. Yeah. Yeah. So, I feel like you have all the tools and resources to manifest what it is you want. Everything you need is within yourself. So, um, it's time for you to take action towards your future, towards your hopes and dreams, right? I feel like you're a very powerful manifester. Um, it's time for you to, um, be self-confident, have willpower, um, Perfect your skills. Get clarity about what it is you want. Tap into your creativity because uh, you're headed towards a new beginning. I feel like you might have uh, had a lot of turbulence. I feel like, um, you know, somebody might be trying to keep you blind to something. I feel like you had a stalemate with someone, possibly. Could be dealing with um, a Virgo or a Gemini. Uh, possibly a Libra or Aquarius air sign. Um, I feel like it's time for you to, to make some tough decisions, right? I feel like you're weighing your options here. It's But you, you do need to use your intuition because I feel like, you know, um, you know, somebody, some, somebody could be trying to keep secrets from you. And, uh, and, you know, you could be trying to avoid the truth about something. But you are being guided to use your intuition and move to calmer waters. I feel like it's a lot of, um, a lot of turbulent, turbulence around you. You know, I feel like you, you know, uh, somebody could be needing to make a choice between two people. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Lovers making a choice. Definitely between two people. Mm -hmm. Gemini energy here. It's a lot of air energy on this um, board here. What else? What else, spirit? Yeah, it's time for you to get balanced. Balance out your life. You know, um, have people in your life that are more harmonious. Have more harmonious partnerships. You know, people that are in your life that are more aligned. Yeah. So, the divine is urging you to be more, uh, to move forward with determination and drive. Take action. Um, I feel like whatever it is you're trying to manifest is coming, it's going to come quickly. So, that's why it's, it's um, important that you be very strategic. And remove people out of your life that's no longer serving you. Now, this is going to be a difficult journey. And you ain't going to have time for nobody to be holding you back. Um, you're going to have to make some quick decisions. They're going to be difficult, but they, you're going to have to move quick. Okay? Somebody could be traveling towards you. Or you could be at a distance from someone. Or... You could be emotionally dis distant, but I feel like you got a lot of passion about something or someone. But I feel like um, you're overcoming a lot of obstacles in life. And you're a natural le leader. Um, you're a visionary. Uh, some of you are about to be entrepreneurs. I feel like you're going to see the big picture. Um, 
very mature career focus right now. Some of you could be getting promoted to leadership positions. Um, yeah, some of you could be dealing with somebody who is dealing, like I said, in some player energy, dealing with somebody who needs to make a choice or you might need to make a choice between two. Hmm. Yeah. We also got a king of wands. We got two kings here. But I feel like you are very um, emotionally stable. I feel like you need to make a head over heart decisions here. You know, sometimes, you know, uh, the people that we love the most are the ones that are <laughs> that hurt us the most, right? So, I feel like you need to be very diplomatic and maintain control of your life. Yeah, because I feel like you, you, whoever you are, you are uh, definitely headed towards a leadership position. Or you're going to be managing a business. I feel like some of you could be empaths, but you definitely need to, um, and very compassionate, but I feel like you very emotionally balanced, but you need to make head over heart decision. I think you, you know, need to make a head over heart decision. I feel like you also going to be, uh, headed towards, um, complete, um, uh, happiness. The sun card is here. Um, you could be dealing with a Leo. Um, let's see. And this is your energy making this head over heart decision. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Hmm. Oh, let's see what else. Let's see what else. Mm-hmm. Look, I feel like you um uh, in deep contemplation about something. Um, maybe something has come to an end. I feel like you're going through a renewal, but it's time for you to, you know, some of you could need to, to take some time to recalibrate, go on solitude, like I said, making some major choices here. I feel like some of you, yeah, some of you need to leave your usual circle behind. So some, some, something you need to cut off. Something you need to cut off. I feel like you're going through a rebirth. Like I said, a rebirth or renewal, awakening or something. Yeah, because we got 19 on the um, sun card. That reduces to 10. So endings, so you can head towards a new beginning, and your possibilities is limitless. Let's see. Oh, okay. Okay. So yeah. So um. Temperance card is here. I feel like you need to find balance. I feel like right now you're just trying to find your purpose. I feel like you've been being real patient with yourself, but I feel like you've been enlightened about something with this sun card as well as this temperance card. I feel like you know that the people around you are not good for you. I feel like you know these people is holding you back. And I feel like you're trying to uh, restore balance and harmony back into your life. And you're trying to find meaning. And you're being very sensible right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 You're very inspired. Very passionate about what you're doing again. But I feel like you headed towards um, something big. And you... And... and you, you're going to get there very quickly. You know, you're ready for a new adventure. You're very inspired. And you're very fearless. But I feel like whoever you're around don't want to see you be successful. Yeah. 
And I feel like, you know, um, you could have went through a lot of financial hardships or you could be feeling left out in the cold or somebody might be feeling left out in the cold. You might have already cut somebody off for some, some of you. Some Something has already come to an end for some of you. You know, some of you are already, you know, in isolation contemplating. Some of you could be feeling a sense of insecurity. But you need to release those negative thoughts. Some of you could be in a lack mindset. You know, some of you could be feeling um, not confident about yourself. But again, you have all the tools and resources you need to manifest what it is you desire. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like you might be in isolation, just working, just working, 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 trying to level up and with this Eight of Pentacles energy here. And you being very diligent about it. You know... You want a sense of freedom, financial freedom, so you're working towards that. Mm -hmm. So there it goes, that transformation. You're going through a transformation. So you ended something, or you ended something with somebody, but this somebody might want a rebirth. Or you need to end something with someone. Yeah, but I feel like with this Five of Pentacles, somebody be feeling abandoned, left out in the cold. I feel like an ending has already come for some of you. Maybe you had to cut somebody off because they couldn't make a choice between you and someone else. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. So I feel like um, somebody had to make a head over heart decision. Like King of Cups and the King of Swords. The King of Swords is... um. Very disciplined, looking for some truth, honesty. Has a lot of mental clarity. Very authority figure. Somebody could be very emotionally dis detached from you. Or you could be emotionally detaching from someone else. Let's see. We're going to get some clarifiers on these cards. Just give me one more card and we'll jump into some clarifiers. Okay, yeah. But I see um, you planning, making decisions. So, yeah. It's all about you making decisions, some choices, going through a transformation. But you you gonna you gonna make some progress. Some of you could be traveling. Because we saw that eight of wands too. Or somebody could be at a distance from you. But I feel like this is the first step towards your new beginning. It's going through this transformation. Um, but I see you seeing the world at, from a different perspective. I feel like you leaving the past behind and moving towards your future. I feel like you have the world in your hands. And you making plans, you strategizing. Yeah. But I feel like, yeah, I feel like you cut somebody off because somebody's watching you. Watching your social, social media, spying on you. And I also feel like you got a lot of ideas. You're curious about uh, a new way of life. I feel like you um very restless in your current situation. So those of you who have not left, I feel like you want to leave. And trying to, trying to strategize on how to move forward or move away from a situation. I feel like you're being very defensive. Yeah. And trying to try to plan on how to come away from this conflict. So I feel like you're in conflict or trying to move away from somebody who is very deceptive. Somebody who was very, uh, who uh, betrayed you. You know, I feel like you got somebody, seven of swords energy. Somebody who's very deceptive. Underhanded. Yeah. 
Yeah, but I feel like you're being very strategic. I feel like you're headed toward, uh, you know, towards growth and expansion. I feel like you're trying to plan that out. You got some ideas about how to head towards growth and just uh, <laughs> growth and expansion. Yeah. You want to explore some new things. You discover new things about yourself. You want a sense of freedom. So I feel like you're walking away from something. Yeah, headed towards your new beginnings. You want to take a leap of faith. So I feel like you're about to close out old cycles and head towards a new beginning. You're going to accomplish new things. I feel like you want a sense of, uh, you know, be do something that gives you a sense of whole, uh, wholeness, uh, fulfillment. Yeah, but I feel like some of you could be moving to a new location, new state, new city. And I feel like you're ready to celebrate your life. So I feel like you um, are, um, again, focusing on your goals, putting in the work, being very productive. Yeah. So I feel like there's been a major change in your life, though. So it's been some a, a major upheaval here. But I see this chair, chariot. Just keep moving forward. You're going to be successful. But again... You know, just be careful about investing in things that's not uh, long term. You know, you're going to have a lot of options. But, you know, again, you got some things, you know, you want to choose wisely because everything, all these options are not going to be good for you. So you want to make sure you're using your intuition, you know, because there's going to be some people around you creating illusions. Like I said, yeah, some devil energy around you, some toxic ass people around you. So, you're going to need to be very strategic in, when you implement this plan. Okay? All right. Let's see. Okay. Let me see. What do I want to clarify here? Hope I don't take too long, y'all. I was too long on the mother class. Let's see. Tell me about this two of swords. Tell me about the two of swords. Tell me about the two of swords. Tell me about the Two of Swords spirit. Tell me about the Two of Swords spirit. Okay. Yeah, I feel like um, with this uh, Queen of Cups, you closing your cup off to somebody. Um, you're very um, emotionally grounded, very uh, passionate, you're very kind, very giving, very loving, nurturing. Yeah. So tell me more about this Queen of Cups. Yeah. But I feel like somebody might be very reckless with you. Very immature. With this full energy. And I feel like you're ready to take a leap of faith towards a new beginning. So I feel like you trying to decide. Or if you haven't already. Tell me more. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Somebody was being underhanded. Yeah. So I feel like whatever this is, you're ready, ready to surrender it because they're being underhanded. Yeah, in this five of swords energy here. Very sneaky. It's a very sneaky energy trying to hide something from you. Somebody's trying to hide something from you. So I feel like you closing your cup off to this person. Tell me more about this five of swords. Tell me more about the five of swords. I feel like they're keeping somebody a secret. Having to make a choice between you and someone else. <sighs> yep. So we got the... Uh, damn it. So we got um, the Page of Wands, the Two of Wands. So the Page of Wands is somebody um, is basically curious you know um about what you're doing right they see growth and expansion with you they seeing things from a different perspective you know there's two of wands so we got um, they got the the page of wands you know they want growth and expansion with you but they got the two of wands here as well but they need to make a uh, um they plan that they're trying to make a decision between 
what path to go down. There's two paths. They got two choices. So also but third party energy here, right? But I see you walking away from them. You making a decision, right? I feel like somebody is being abandoned. Either you feel abandoned or they they feel abandoned because you walking away. I feel like you making a choice to to walk away from this person, taking a leap of faith. Because if you see the fool is turning their back towards this person, right? So it's three people here. And I and you are closing your cup off. Or this this fool want to take a leap of faith towards you, but they being underhanded. But you got your back tur turned towards this fool that was being reckless. So you can see that two different ways. But either way, somebody is in some third party energy. But I feel you. Headed towards your growth and expansion and celebrating yourself. Turning your back towards this person, right? Seeing the world from it. You got two different paths to take. You celebrating yourself and leaving this person out in the cold. So either way, there is some third party energy here. This person is trying to keep you blinded too. But I think you know. That's why you closing your cup off to this person. You've been enlightened. Hey, man. Trying to make a decision as to whether to stay or go. So you can see it two ways, but either way, it's third party energy here. Somebody being sneaky, somebody being deceptive, right? Okay. Because we have the two of swords. That's also somebody having to make a choice between two. The lovers having to make a choice, right? The, the king of wands is also could be known as a player as well, right? Okay. Then we have the five. A pinnacles here again somebody being left out in the cold walking away an ending a death somebody wants a renewal with you so let's uh tell me about this five of pinnacles here tell me about this five of pinnacles tell me about this five of pinnacles tell me about the five of pinnacles judgment the judgment card somebody's been awakened about this connection. Want a second chance. Yeah. So I feel like you walked away. Oh, okay. Mm hmm A new passionate beginning. This person want a new passionate beginning with you. They want a second chance. They want they want you to forgive them for this third, you know, putting you in a third party situation. They want a new passionate beginning. They want a new creative spark. They want this new passionate spark with you. Passionate beginning. Ace of Wands, and then we have the Page of Swords in reverse. And that is deception. They trying to manipulate you with sex. You know, they want to come in with an apology, but they coming in with passion. But they're being deceptive because they in Page of Swords energy. This person is being deceptive. Okay. This is not a genuine apology. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Tell me about, um, yeah. Yeah. See? Because that's that five of swords energy. This person is want to win at all costs. And they'll do anything to say anything. They want a second chance, but this, this person going to be right in and out. In and out again. Yeah. Let's see. Tell me about um Tell me about this two of um wands, two of wands. They going to come in acting like they this king of cups, but they really this king of wands energy. They really that page of swords and look King of Wands. There it is again. Tell me about the King of Wands. King of Wands. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ace of Pentacles. 
But see, this is this. I feel like this is your energy, you know, going towards being, you know, your, you know, being successful in that boss energy, King of Wands. You seeing the big picture. You see this person for who they are. You headed towards your abundance. Yeah. Let's see. You overcoming the obstacles. You overcoming these challenges. You're gonna lead this person. You you headed towards your your new new beginning. You ending a cycle with this person. So I don't know if you've been going back and forth with this person. But I feel, I see you ending this with this person. Tell me about this king. Yeah. Missed opportunity. You bored with this person. You tired. You in deep contemplation about it. But I feel like, you know, you bored. You're going to refuse this person's offer. Yeah. Yeah. Focusing on yourself and working on yourself. Focus on leveling up, building. Focus on your craft and isolation. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Look. Isolation, working on yourself, moving away. Yep. This person wants to keep you bound to them. They this person wants to keep you in a, a mental prison, want to keep you blinded, but you're gonna have the strength and courage. And this is gonna be a missed uh, this person gonna be feeling regret, sorrow, and loss, right? This person was trying to control the situation and uh, you know, very stern, emotionally detached. Yeah. And now they feeling nostalgia because they was not coming to make you an offer. They took too long to make you an offer. Now you out here abundant, single, sexy, and free and victorious in your six of wands. Okay. And you headed towards new love, new romance, joy, happiness, right? Mm-hmm. There you go. With your ace of cups. There you go. That's what's up. That's what's up. Cancer. Yeah. They they took too long. They was bullshitting. And they and and they not being genuine. Yeah. They being manipulative. Yeah. Nope. Leave this person where they at. Focus on yourself. Mm-hmm. Now, now they watching. They trying to they trying to uh watch and see what you're doing. Trying to get ideas, trying to strategize how to come towards you so they can, uh, you know, keep you bound to them. So they can have their cake and eat it too. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's see. Soulmate, your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. So this person is not your soulmate. You will manifest your soulmate. You know, this person is with you in spirit. You know, you manifest and everything. This magician is here. You are a master manifester and you're going to manifest your true soulmate. You got this ace of uh, cups here. You manifest a new love, new romance, joy, happiness, something that's more solid. Right? Your divine counterpart. Not somebody who's going to keep, you know, being manipulative. Having, playing games with you. You know, have you in third party situations. And it says, imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light. Creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. Yeah. So, make room for new opportunities. Leave your usual circle behind. Right? You know, this is going to be a difficult path for you. But something good is going to come from this. You know, find the path to love and happiness, you know, and this is playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer. So, yeah. Whoever you call in is going to help you heal through all of these past hurts and pains. It says, look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. So examine why you feel like you need to stay in a situation that is not uh, suited for you. That's not going to help you elevate to the highest version of yourself. So this is where you need to start working. Working on the, the, the inner parts of yourself. Going through this death and this rebirth, this renewal. You know, it's time to retreat. You got the sun coming. You've been enlightened. 
time to restore balance back into your life. So that's what I have for you, Cancer. If this resonated for you, go ahead and hit like, share, and subscribe. Until the next video, love and light.